Hey everybody, I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. Welcome to Back Issues. I'm really excited to talk about this book. It's Punisher from Jason Aaron. But no, not that one. There's another one. Jason Aaron wrote Punisher Max for a while after mm. Ennis. And uh, that's cool. And that's... I didn't read it. <laughs> I don't... I don't need to be that miserable all the time. Punisher Max is one of those things where I get it and it's cool, but... Does it... Like, I don't... I, I read these to not see the real world. <laughs> You don't want it to be too real. And I don't need it to yeah. be so real that it's things that I would never see in my regular real life. You know, right. like child trafficking and war. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm good. No, <laughs> instead you're going to get a, a mercenary who just goes around shooting people. Yeah. Uh, everyday people on the street. That's right. Could be you. Who knows? <laughs> that's And that's the problem with the Punisher, I think, is that, uh, you know, I love to throw this word around, but... Uh, Problematic. Punisher is an issue now, and uh, for a variety of reasons. For yeah. One, well, for mostly one, not his own fault. Yeah, by his own d just existence, yeah. he's a problem. But uh, also uh, everything going on in America. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. But uh, the, the Punisher logo is the big issue. Yeah. And that's where this book got any eyeballs in the beginning was because of the logo controversy. Oh, um, is this a new book? It's a brand new book. It just uh, came out last year. It's okay. still going on right now. It is a mini series. Uh, it's going to be, I think, 13 issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to talk about the first nine because I'm just that excited. I couldn't wait till April to talk about this book. Okay. And I don't care. And you know what? If, it's, if it ends as spectacularly as I expect, we'll just do the rest of it someday. Unless this video tanks, in which case, you know, you can just go read it. This is the first volumes in the comments down below anyway. Just go buy it anyway. Buy this book and read it. I feel bad. I threw this out there in the ether. I was like on Twitter. I'm like, Punisher's is great. And then one of our mutual friends was like, uh, okay, I'll buy it. And I'm like, well, I mean, not the first six. Like, it's, <laughs> that makes me look like a psychopath. It, yeah, it's really by issue nine that like everything kind of crystal. Oh my Ooh. God. Why would Sal recommend this? Yeah, I don't think you're going to enjoy that. Ooh, oh, it oh, hurts. Well, maybe oh, like my it. soul. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. It's just kind of like, it, it's more indulgent. <laughs> Than, uh, than than some might expect, <laughs> and uh, yeah, but it's all thanks to the controversy of like idiots and morons co-opting the Punisher logo and <laughs> thinking it makes them cool, right. and uh, it doesn't. It makes you look like a moron, and it's just easily identifiable. Oh, look, an idiot, <laughs> and that's all. But uh, people got really upset for like a good like window of time, like you know, like a month. Yeah. People were just frothing in the mouth about the yeah. logo. Punisher had a new logo, new thing on his chest, right? And people were like, oh my god, and I'm like, this is just that's classic Marvel. Yep. Marvel does not care about your political allegiances or about what's responsible socially. Uh, they care about the almighty dollar. Yeah. And they care about capitalizing on that. They'll be like, oh, what's happening in the world? What are people complaining about? How can we manipulate and co-opt that to make money? Right. And then maybe tell a story. And, and whoever we assign to write the story can make it responsible. Well, I don't care. Because they don't make any money off the Punisher logo. Not really. No. And they should. They make and, some of like t-shirts and, and crap, they could. But... They, they could. Oh, like... officially the license? Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, but there are so many knockoffs. Uh, it's, this, yeah. it's the Bill Waters and Calvin peeing on everything logo. Like they could mm -hmm. get really aggressive about it. Uh, but then they'd have to like sue police departments and stuff, and you know it gets dicey. Now. <laughs> but uh, in this case, it's like they changed the logo, and people were freaking out. And I was like, "This is just Marvel being Marvel. Yep. It'll be back." You know, they're changing it back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, and what's more is if you read this, like they change it. Like he wears a different logo. It's in every issue. Like the logo appears in every issue. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, they're reminding you it's still there. Yeah. It's just he's not wearing it. That's right. He personally is not wearing it. Instead, it's more like a like a Japanese demon, like an Oni. The reality is the only people who are upset are people who don't read comic books. <laughs> because yeah. if you were reading comic books, you'd think to yourself like, oh, I see where they're going with this, or oh, I see why they're doing that, or that kind of fits into what's going on in Daredevil right now. And if, if you're hearing about it in a vacuum or outside the periphery, then you're just like, Boo! Ah, They're change. changing the logo? You can't change the logo. You were in Punisher left, literally ever, <laughs> much less in the last 30 years. So what uh, I beg to differ. I have it on my pickup truck. Right, yeah. I have the logo on my pickup truck. Well, but no, I haven't read it ever. But it doesn't affect you. Like, it will always be on your dumb pickup truck, along with your truck nuts. <laughs> Punisher, The King of Killers, written by Jason Aaron, is also uh, drawn by Jesus Saiz and Paul Azaceta. Uh, Paul Azaceta does the flashbacks, and Jesus Saiz does the present day stuff. Oh, hey, uh, so two different styles. That's right, very different styles, but also uh, deliberately so, and uh, manages to tell two fantastic stories that all are interwoven and, uh, and, and tell you the next chapter in Frank Castle's life. Again, Jason Aaron is no stranger to talking about Frank Castle the Punisher. He's done it before. 
albeit in another universe, but he's also used him in other things. Like, there's this big Thor event called War of the Realms, and he's like, oh, uh, and he kind of like played with the idea of like, <laughs> what if Punisher was doing this? <laughs> and it's like, that's kind of fun. Watch Punisher hunt trolls. But... <laughs> Well, they're trolls. They're so, trolls, yeah. yeah. They're, 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 by nature, they need to be punished. <laughs> this is also emblematic of the Jason Aaron paradox, which is uh, if he's writing Avengers, it sucks. <laughs> and uh, if he's writing a solo character, it's dope AF. Mm. So here so you he's go. He's not good with ensembles. He is really not. Yeah. Look, I don't like teams. Right. Then I don't like write them. warriors. Then don't do it. I want money, though. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> then write the team equivalent of that many books. Just write, like, six books, then. Bendis did it. You know, it's it's the next chapter in Frank Castle's life. Aaron's trying to say something about Frank, and, like, he, he claims, and I think that's thanks to the Marvel prodding, like, that it's the new status quo for Frank. It's mm -hmm. the next evolution of Frank Castle. That, like, we're never going back. The reality is, every time they change Frank Castle, he backslides into being a lunatic with guns, typically in a van, right. with a skull on his shirt, killing people in a city. About that, is this in continuity? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this Completely. is just this is just the next story. Yes. In the line of Punisher books. Yes, and yeah. this is done to very strong effect in the intro of the book, which is we essentially see Frank Castle's family slaughtered from Frank's perspective, like the story of Frank Castle. Finally. Sure. Well, we've seen it before, but like this is, we're seeing Frank after the massacre. So mm. like the EMTs are there and he's hearing them talking. They're like, the kids are dead. Just focus on the, the mother and father, you know, mm. and they're trying to keep, all she responds to is pain. How is this man still conscious? <laughs> like what is driving this lunatic? Mm -hmm. Because he's just like, Rhea! and it's just, oh my God. And then they go, who is this man? What is your name? Who are you? And then we get a double page splash of, Frank Castle, the Punisher, in this story. And it's just a collage of Frank being the Punisher in every iteration the Punisher has had. And it's just like, it, it's, it's, I think, Aaron's way of, of saying the Punisher has been many things. Right, he has all these things. This and all happened. This too. Yeah, and now he's this. Right, like, Punisher one time was like an angel. And by that I mean he was an emissary from God and had like a special demon killing laser gun. Like he's been a lot Sweet. worse than a katana wielding demon slayer. Right. And by the way, he's not even a demon slayer. It's just he's doing this now. But P Frank's been in worse spots. Mm -hmm. One time, uh, you know, let's not talk about the time. Well, it's like one time he shot Captain America. He did, yeah. Uh, but he does worship Captain America, which is like a holdover that I don't really care for. But it's done into better effect in this than it is in Civil War, let's say. Mm. So the story opens with uh, essentially Frank's main antagonist in this arc, which is uh, there are a bunch of dudes dressed in Grecian armor helmets who are also arms dealers. And they're selling these crazy weapons that have fun Marvel connectivity. Like they have banner cannons, which are basically like they use gamma radiation to shoot. And so they're just super bad guns. <laughs> yeah, it's called they, a cancer gun. They have graviton bazookas and... Uh, the, they have the warhead of Watum, you know, it's just like, ha 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 ha, okay. Right. It's just like, these are, these, are sh these are crazy as F weapons right. that we that, don't want in the hands of the regular populace, but they that are. That sounds almost like a terrible fireworks yeah. uh, yes. game. Like, you can get the warhead of Watum! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This worth it alive! <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. I would fire that off every <laughs> month. And after they identify each of these weapons, they say, bless the war. The war? Oh, war. so it's Ares. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ares is their, like, leader. Uh, the lights go out, and they're immediately slaughtered uh, by the Punisher. Right. And uh, uh, cool. Punisher pulls out his katana, his signature katana, classic weapon of the Oh, time. yeah. No, he always uses that. Yeah, yeah. It is not, and it's also explained in this, like, why he's using it. It's not really explained why he's using it. It's more like, well, I'm in Japan or some crazy realm in Japan. I might as well use the katana. Like he's well, the, the gun laws are real strict over there, so I, this is all I could get. And then we see the Punisher is like surrounded by by ninjas of the hand. Yes, that's right. Punisher has now become the fist of the beast. He rules the hand. That's the idea. Oh. Oh, I thought he had to fight the ninjas. He did have to fight the ninjas but to get to here, get to this point. But uh, which I assume we're gonna see. Oh yeah, no. And it's not <laughs> we're, that like, we're gonna go back. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh my god, I love the idea of a sword on each hip. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, one's a little sword. It's got double sword. So now it's Frank's turn to lead the hand. Yes. Daredevil <laughs> has led the hand, now it's Frank's turn. 
Didn't and Elektra also lead the oh, hand? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so we, it, we will not stop until every street level Marvel <laughs> hero. Spider Man will one day lead the hand. Luke Cage will lead the hand. Iron Fist, obviously, will take over the hand at some point. But right now, it's Punisher's turn, and this is how we're going to deal with it. I, I don't understand. How could Iron Fist do it? He's the sworn enemy of the hand. I know. That well, would be ironic. It would be actually more fun uh, to see that than most. Unless it was the TV show. What TV show? I'm loving Punisher in this status quo uh, because he is through and through Frank Castle throughout. Like, he's wearing this stupid logo. He's got swords. He's surrounded by ninjas. And he's just like, mm-hmm. And he doesn't care. He's right. just like, mm-hmm, whatever. And you'll see why and how he's using it. But he returns. Are, are those ninjas, or, or since they're all in red, do they qualify as palace guards? No. <laughs> what, like the like Star Wars? Yeah. Those are, those are Imperial Royal Guards, and they do not have uh, the mastery of ninjutsu, or Teres Kazi, as it would be known in the Star Wars <laughs> universe. So Frank returns via their hand helicopter, which of course is painted red, and they arrive in this like secret mystical temple that the hand operates out of that is also secluded in some woods that you can't navigate unless you've already been to the temple in the first place. This comes important later. Uh, it's like magical? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's the hand. It's right. They're, they, they're, they're all undead or they're whatever. They're undead, or at least they're, re they're resurrected by the beast, who is like a demon that runs the hand, who's not physically here right now, but there's a statue that represents him and everything. Uh, but he's met by the high priestess of the hand, who is also created for the story, but it doesn't matter. Nobody's well, nobody's crying foul. He's like, oh, excuse me, there's never been a high priestess of the hand before? Right, it's like, no, there is, and there always was, and shut up, who cares? <laughs> shut and, up, keep reading. But she is like all in on the Punisher. In fact, she's been all in on the Punisher since he was like eight. Oh. oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Why? She, he's eight. Because she knew. he's destined. He's destined to become the fist of the hand. The well, fist of the hand. Yeah. Well, the hand needs a fist. The hand can make a fist that's by right. just changing the way it's shaped, though. Yes, that's correct. You don't need to add anything to well, it. Well, we do, because we need, like, the, we, we need the king of killers, and that's Frank. Uh, she'll explain why, and <laughs> essentially what she says is, like, you know, we've had different fists of the hand before, and they've uh. been like these massive, amazing killers, these, you know, beautiful poets of death. And, uh, <laughs> you know, at some point or another, we realized if I need an expert in murder and killing, I have to go to America to find it. Ha ha ha. Also, I don't argue. And uh, essentially, like, the, yes, Frank is predestined to become this thing, or at least she believes that's the case. Well, I mean, doesn't that qualify for everyone who became the, hand, the fist of the hand? Yeah. Shouldn't she have like a scroll and be like, all right, well, the fist of the hand from uh, in this decade yes. is this person. Yes. Yeah, she probably was watching lots of children. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. she was, she's been what? Like, she has these three daggers that she offers him when he's a child. Like, yeah. she goes to him when he's like coming home from a therapy session with the, at the school for being aggressive. Ah. So she he says, had issues even before his family. Yes, and that's, that's kind of like a retcon, mm, but it's okay. also, it's Aaron kind of like feeding you who Frank Castle is. And, you know, we, we've talked about like, where the Punisher was first born. This is, of course, a play on words because uh, Garth Ennis wrote a book called Punisher Born, which is essentially a like retconning of how the Punisher was really born in Vietnam when he was a soldier. And Aaron is like, he was he was messed up before Vietnam. Mm. or before whatever war he's in in the main market. Like, why do you right. think he was so good at war? <laughs> yes, and why he was so comfortable. Like, and, and so we'll get that kind of like background on who Frank Castle is as a person and where he goes and, and how he led to being a family man whose family was murdered in Central Park. Like, why would this anointed king of killers mm. take his family to a park at all? You know, and then we'll see that, that progression as well. But uh, right. please tell me the hand doesn't have like a hand in killing his family. We'll talk about that in a nah, because no. this is the kind of book that Aaron is hyper aware of the criticisms that this book will already carry before the first <laughs> issue comes out. Okay. Frank gets off the helicopter, the high priest is there. She's like, oh, good, you're here, my giggle killers. Ah, rah, rah, like, I love you. And he's like, uh-huh, is, is, uh, is my catch of the day here? And she's like, yes, they are. Frank is like, okay, I've got an army of ninjas. Yeah, bring me as many people as you can who have committed the following crimes. <laughs> So every day, these ninjas bring forth like these bound and gag oh murderers, rapists, killers, and he's just like, okay, and then just takes out his sword, and she's like, the the ninjas can dispatch him. He's like, mm-mm. No, it's my job. It. That's what I do. And she's uh. like, yes, good, do it, bathe in their blood. And he's like, okay, <laughs> well, I'll just kill him. So he just murders them, and it's just like, that's what he does every priestess, day. could you take this down a peg? Yeah. I'm trying to do my job and here. It's great because he doesn't like argue with her, but he also just, every time she goes off on her ninja nonsense, he's like, 
<laughs> He's like, like I'm not here for this. Bro, this is a means to an end. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't buy into any of this crap. Uh -huh. It's just, you are useful to me. Yes. Yeah. Just like, and if you're going to provide me all these ninjas, do my, my bidding. Look, if, if I get into like a warehouse and they're selling weapons and there's like a hundred guys and there's a bazooka handy, I will use the bazooka. <laughs> Even if I didn't come in here with the express purpose of using a bazooka, I'll take that opportunity. Frank is nothing if not an opportunist. Right. So He's practical. How he, does he know that they are bringing him real... Right. Criminals. I, I guess because he knows that they're like all in. You know, like they, right. they, they like they can't disobey. Really, right. They cannot. They're all fanatics. They are fanatics. He's like, right. no, I I've seen this kind of crazy before. These guys <laughs> definitely did their homework and they got me what I needed. Okay. So weeks earlier, Frank comes home from his usual punishing. Oh, logo. But you know, he's oh he's at home and uh, ninjas pop out, just attack him. And the high priestess is there, and she's like, we have to we have to see. If you're who I believe you are to be, and they, they you know, there's ninjas. They're, they're, they're whipping out swords and attacking yeah. him. Yeah. And they're all over him in a heartbeat. Exactly. And he's Frank Castle. And now look, he's it's a Punisher book. He's the Punisher. He's in the Marvel universe. Unless he's going to turn into a Frankenstein monster, he has plot armor. Right. We're not going to kill the Punisher, unless we need to and turn him into something hilarious. But in this, it's like. He doesn't know that, but you know that he's going to succeed, and the right. high priestess also is aware that he's going to succeed because she <laughs> believes in him. Okay, but she he, just wants to see him kill all these ninjas. Well, and she <laughs> and and she's, well, that is the proof. She's faced opposition in her belief in him, so this is my proof. And these ninjas uh, have been told to kill him. Right. But I also fanatically believe that he will succeed, and of course he does. And through like desperate and epic fashion, he mm -hmm. does kill these ninjas. And he, it's not without his, like, scars. Like, they, they throw shurikens at him, and he's like, J -j 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 -j. he's just like, okay. Like, <laughs> he's just, like, covered in Yeah, he is pelted. <laughs> it's awesome. They're like brambles. Right? Oh, my God, he brings out a chainsaw? Yeah. Oh, Claymore is, yeah. yeah. She's just watching. She's like, <laughs> just having an amazing time. And just She saying, also has plot armor on. This is great. Well, yeah, well, she's also, you know, she's like magic. Hmm. Oh. And everyone gets like awesome monologuing and narration. I'm not going to share it every time, but just, I saw my sons and daughters rendered into puddles of viscera by the walking meat grinder that is the Punisher, and it was beautiful. Oh my God. <laughs> so then uh, after, Jesus Frank, lady. after Frank kills all these ninjas, she comes out and she's like, now tell me, Francis Cassioni, does one of these belong to you? She offers these three crazy looking daggers. He goes, no, but this does. <laughs> she goes, yes, I thought you'd say that, but look, and she's, <laughs> she's like, I know that you would not accept my gifts. And then a figure walks through the door and he says, now do you see if there's anything that belongs to you? And he's like, ho, ho, and he's in. Hmm. So it's like, what does he see? So we cut back to him arriving after the, you know, daily slaughter, he's filled the room with just dead bodies. And he walks through this like beautiful garden. He passes what was his Punisher flak jacket, which is now like on an altar. Yeah, <laughs> this is old armor. And uh, he strips down, gets naked, and gets into bed with his wife, Maria. His original wife? Yes. Oh, so his now resurrected, his now via hand the hand. resurrected yeah. Yep. Yeah, wife. I, I love the... What about his kids? They're working on it. Oh. Like, look at all the bullet holes that she has in her. Like, right. she would never have survived. Like, look at that. And the, the, the attention to detail and the depiction by Saez of, of Maria is just like, yeah. So Maria's back, <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. Because it's like, yeah, of course, this is the thing. Well, and the hand could do that. Yes. And the hand is like, he's he's not a believer. He's not in on this ninja thing. He's not going to go for it. Right. Well, if we bring back his wife, he will. Oh, well, then let's just do that. We oh, can, we can do that. We're yeah. good at that. Yeah. And so they did, and he's like, okay, whatever. All right, I'm in on your magic bullshit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm going to use you. Like, I don't care about you and your Yeah, I'm not going to fulfill your friggin' mission. I'm not going to start like... Uh, like <laughs> worshiping the the beast at the altar or anything, but like, right. but I I love my wife and I I'm doing this because she's dead. Let's bring her back. Like I'm in. So, so, but what does the hand want him for? He well, the archpriestess wants him because like he is. She, she makes a reference to the fact, and it's really Aaron talking through her that like the hand has kind of become this like silly bullshit thing. Like <laughs> you know, we, ah. like Shadowland was not very successful, and uh, so you know like. We need to get back to prominence, you know? Like, we need to get back on top. We need someone who can defeat Daredevil. Right. Well, we need somebody <laughs> who could actually, like, win. And 
I and, and creating this whole prophecy about Frank, or at least like the, the the king of killers. We need like a leader, or at least a a weapon that can't die, mm. seemingly without our magic elixirs and whatnot. Right. But uh, yeah, it's just we're all in on Punisher, and Punisher's going to help us ascend to like what we should be, where we should be. Right. And okay. That, and that's fair. Like that's as a, but as what? As like a like a benevolent crime fighting organization? They don't care. No. Or as no, a they just want power. critical well, they believe, criminal well, gang. Well, remember they, they worship a demon. I mean, the plan <laughs> is to bring this demon to Earth. I like, see. You know, we haven't talked about the demon much outside of like, blessed be the beast, and the beast is why we do this, and how we get our magic and all that crap. But like, the beast doesn't pop up and go like, hey, <laughs> you're doing great. Keep it up. <laughs> Well, I'm 25% should, resurrected. Right. Oh, I'm almost there. You gotta keep going. There's donuts in the rec room. Like, it's, it's, you know, whatever. But also, like, is there even a beast? But, like, there is magic, so there has to be a beast and stuff like that. Also, Daredevil was, you know, possessed by him as well. But, uh, you know, whatever. Like, it's just, right now, we're focusing on the, the high priest is like, I'm doing, like, you know, brand management. Right. The and, Punisher is gonna get us I, back on the map. Yes. Well, I also like the idea, like, hey, if we want to change our image, we get a hero. Right. But a hero who's not afraid to kill. Yeah, that's true. I can see them doing that. But also, yeah, and, you know, everyone's afraid of the Punisher. I think so when the... Because when, the Punisher, when you see him... You will shit bricks. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, it, their, their plan overall, like, High Priest just kind of keeps a lot of it close to the chest. Like, mm. clearly, she's like, oh, I brought back your, your wife. I'm bringing back your kids. I'm going to give you this beautiful estate. And, you know, it's really just like a pagoda. But whatever, it's mm -hmm. pretty, and you're having a nice time. And I'm bringing you your, 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 your... But it's also, like, clearly she's in on the whole murder thing. Like, that's what the Hand does. The Hand murders and, like, kills and bathes in the blood of its victims and enemies. So I don't care if they're rapists and murderers. Like, I don't care who they are as long as they die. You know, okay. I just, we just need to get back on the map of ninja-ing and murdering. Because okay. when Daredevil was the hand... It was pretty lame. Oh, uh, we didn't kill anybody. We made New York into Japan, and it was pretty stupid. And we didn't we, we killed very few people. <laughs> it was really lame. Like, Daredevil killed one person, and he had it coming, and it was Bullseye, and he cried about it for weeks. It was so <laughs> stupid. I killed 100% more people <laughs> with Frank's first day than we ever did with Daredevil's entire career. So... We cut back to like when Frank was a kid, and the the the, the school therapist is like, everybody's freaking out. Frank, y you need to chill. Like, look at these drawings of like all these people on fire and these skulls and stuff. Like, <laughs> what do you want to be when you grow up? Like, looks like try, a like, vigilante's logo or something. What is this? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just well, it, really, it's the memento mori. Like, it's it's mm. the symbol of death. Mm -hmm. It's not that he's like trying to he's work his shop. Not making his the brand. Punisher. No. Yeah. Uh, she's not quite at full strength or cognizance. Does she remember? She remembers Frank, and she remembers that they had children, but she's also like, when are the kids coming home? Right. And They're he's working like, on it. And he goes, just soon. So Frank's trying to train. Like, he goes to training, like, to learn to use the sword. Because he's like, I guess I'm doing this now. I guess I'm a ninja now. I guess I'm a ninja now. <laughs> and I got to use the sword. Well, it's, it, everyone else is using it. Like, right. I, I need to master weapons. He's a, he's a master of all weapons. I never really learned how to use a sword. Uh, was a little before my time. Exactly. And it never really comes up, usually, in my line of work. <laughs> so he's learning how to do it. The high priest is like, you're like a clumsy child. You're not, you don't need the sword. Yeah, like, we're fine we, with the gun thing. Exactly. Just because we all use swords doesn't mean you have to use the sword. Exactly. And he's like, "There's no. not a thing where like you need to like assimilate into our no. culture." I don't give a shit. I, that's that's right. <laughs> that's, that's not right. why I brought you here. Right. So yeah. he's uh, like, "No." Yeah, that's right. That's that's where he is. He's like, "No, I gotta learn. I gotta figure it out. I have to be the best." Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I'm gonna last samurai this shit. Yes, yeah, I'm gonna appropriate your culture. It's like nobody so asked you to do that. No one asked you. <laughs> Uh, it, it's kind of honestly, it's a little weird that you that you're insisting on it so much. We we even wanted you to keep the same logo, but no, you had to change. <laughs> yeah, you had to it. make yeah. it all Asian style. <laughs> it's a little insulting. Yeah, trying to explain to him like why he doesn't need to learn how to use the sword. Mm. She asks all the guys there to like who are training and behind masks and in ninja gear, like when did you first first pick up a blade? And like I was eight years old. I was ten years old. I trained with the hand, and they picked me up. And blah blah blah. Like I've literally been training my entire life. You're like a. 38 year old man is just like swinging a sword like you're gonna do anything good with it I, I've literally mastered this thing my entire life that's all I do is I live eat and breathe swords <laughs> and she's like this is the point and so all he does like she takes him through the catacombs of their place she's explaining like who like how you know she ascended to become archpriestess mostly on the back of like 
the Frank Castle agenda and how it's working really well. And, mm -hmm. you know, this is what I believed. It's like she was a splinter cell of the hand where she's like, right. I think we should get the Punisher. And they're all like, okay, we're going to table the Punisher conversation for now. Meanwhile, I'm going to for I'll my show you. Let's get, the da let's get Daredevil, though. Like, and that Daredevil guy got fired, you know? <laughs> but, uh, so she's, she's like, like I, I kind of hitched my wagon to you, and now it's, our fates are sealed yes, to each other. We are intertwined. Yeah, you succeed, I succeed, exactly. or we both go down. That's right, yeah. uh, and I'm not going down. <laughs> so, uh, but she's explaining the murder god that is the beast and stuff like that, and how his journey's only just begun. And he goes, okay, whatever, just bring me people who murder and kill and, and rape and stuff, and I'm down. Also, don't train children anymore, that's over. Mm -hmm. I, I heard the thing about the, how you took children from when they were 10 years old and trained them. That's done. <laughs> if I'm in charge, then that's done. I don't want to do that anymore. She's like, okay. But mm -hmm. but how will we have an army? <laughs> well, it's like, you'll get other people. You'll get, you you'll have get enough. your own people. You have your own people. You can recruit out of college. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no earlier. Get a table. No, like at a, that point, pe a, people are already tainted. <laughs> right. <laughs> we have to train them it, when it, they're five how to pick up I, a sword. Yeah, how can I turn them into a mindless murderer if they're like if they're mature? Not yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's really hard to brainwash people who are, are over adults. like 12. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So Frank comes out of the therapist session as a child back in the day, and the mm. archpriestess comes up to him, and she's like, "Which does one, do one of these belong to you? And he goes, fuck off. <laughs> hey, you fucking creepy lady. Yes! And she's like, okay. And I love that, because that will be a representation of, like, the hand's involvement in Frank Castle's origins. Man, mm. had that happened to young Ben? One of these knives could be mine? Oh. This one! And she's like, perfect, yes. <laughs> or or this one, dead. actually all three. Actually, could I keep them all? They all seem pretty cool. That one has like a squiggly thing, like a, like it's a Klingon dagger. I want that one. Uh, sure. Okay. They, it, <laughs> it's not really, you know what, it's fine. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, all of the daggers belong to some member, like some murdered person of the hand, mm. like at some point or another. And it's like, there's a lineage and a linking. It's not that like, I'm your great, great grandfather, Frank. Like, no, it's just like. Yeah, you're not the Dalai Lama. It just represents like which, which style of fist you probably will end up being and mm. how your dynasty will represent that and so forth. But, uh, but this is the kind of like involvement we're doing where it's, it's a light touch. Mm -hmm. Frank develops on his own. He's Frank. When he sees a ninja lady come out of the darkness and offer <laughs> daggers, he gives her the finger and walks away. Cool. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. sure, that could happen, and it could all be nonsense. Like, if you still believe that, like, Frank Castle should be, like, a secular, non-demon-related right. character, you're still good. You yeah, that, th that this is his happen. history. Or a crazy old lady came up to him one time, and he told her what for, and that was right. the end of it. Great. <laughs> or it's all preordained. So... <laughs> Frank's on his blood throne, and uh, one of Ares' agents comes and like offers them a banner cannon because it's like such a dope weapon. And he's just like, "Okay, so you're one of the apostles of war. Awesome. Uh, I, you are the guys who've been like slaughtering people across the globe, like selling weapons and crap. Yeah, that's over. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm gonna kill all of you. Right. And, just like uh, I killed all of you at that in that in that room. In that room. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, "Yeah, I need you to. Uh, yeah." I need you to tell your master that, like, that's the, that's the end of it. And I'm going to kill him, and I'm going to kill all of you. It's all done. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the, the, the dude, like, reveals that he's, like, unarmed, and all he has is, like, a gash in his, in his uh, side, mm -hmm. and then reaches into his gash and pulls out a gun to kill the Punisher. And uh, he just takes the bullet. He throws shurikens in his face and then punches his face, embeds the shurikens from his face into his fist, and repeatedly punches shurikens into his face. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's uh, intense. he's dead. Ow! <laughs> and uh, he's like, that's cool. Also, there's a bomb wired to his central nervous system. So, like, before he dies, like, get it out of there. How do I know that? I don't know. You embedded a Ooh. lot of shrapnel into his face. He's probably dead. No, he's not. So, like, he goes, how did I know that? And she's like, that's one of the five gifts of the beast. Like, you have... Detecting ability. bombs inside people? No, it's like, yeah. You, you have the sight. You can, you can know oh. things without, like, asking about them. And oh, you can, is that why his eyes were red? Yes, that's right. And then why he was, like, glowing and floating and stuff. Okay. Uh. Like, it's working. You know, he's becoming the fist of the beast. She's seeing that it's working. And she goes, now tell me, Frank. Does any of these belong to you? Like offering him the dagger. And he looks at them and he just grabs one. Oh. But he sees this image of one of the fists of the beast from like, you know, a million years ago or whatever. <laughs> Killing someone, he grabs that dagger and she's like, oh, like as a child, you wanted to take one, but you hesitated, but now you take it freely. This is who this belonged to. This is this dynasty and blah, blah, blah. All right, anyway, who cares? Moving on. Uh, that's your dagger. You keep that. That's oh. going to be like your extension of yourself and blah, blah, blah. You better keep it on you at all times and take care of it. Trap it every day. That's right. <laughs> the Apostles of War meeting up with like a gang 
you know, originally it was like a street gang that was going to be like, oh, a couple of broken bones and some chains were left behind, but like we sold them like banner cannons and like graviton guns <laughs> and stuff. Like we, we sold them guns that could pick up cars and fire them like you're in Half-Life. And, uh, <laughs> and they were like, hey, uh, yeah, we're good. Like when we showed up with the guns, the other gangs just, just quit. So there was no need for war. And then Ares appears and he's like, uh, I'm sorry, what? And then proceeds <laughs> That's not how this to works. his head inside the house. Oh my God. <laughs> the, the apostles reveal to Ares, like, the guy that we sent to kill the Punisher's tracker has gone silent. We have to assume that he exploded and he killed the Punisher. And oh yeah, that's probably Ares is like, not bloody likely. He's <laughs> uh, <laughs> got a little skull. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see that evolve throughout God of War. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, mm. uh, that's something we've not really seen before and I kind of love it. Also, Ares is kind of a complicated character. He was on the Dark Avengers. He was in a bunch of books. He died. Uh, he was on like a God Squad. Like he, he he was part of like a team of characters who were dead and then went back to where they came from. Is he? Yeah. He's not a superhero, right? He was a superhero for like a hot minute. And now he's an arms dealer that like murders people by punching them inside houses. <laughs> and, and that's fine with me. <laughs> that's Ares yeah, is like whatever. that. Screw it. Uh, the last time I saw Ares uh, in canonical books that I was reading, Sentry pulled him in half. But, okay. Uh, yeah, he got better. But he's back. <laughs> Sentry yeah. does that to a lot of people, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, sometimes it happens to him. So uh, <laughs> Frank declares war on Hydra, sends the hand to go slaughter Hydra, and they do. Uh -huh. Well, he's and just like, uh, Hydra. I'm done with Hydra. And then Who next, deserves it? it yeah. you know, if you, if, and then AIM, and then... Right? And then, <laughs> yeah, and then whoever. Just checking off my list. Exactly. Like, evil I mean, organizations. You're there for a week. You're like, okay, bring me every rapist and murderer you know of and you can find. <laughs> okay, that was like day three. Yeah. And it's like, okay, oh, sh mm. who else? And that's actually part of Frank's plan, which he talks about later. He's like, I want to end the war. Oh. Oh. Where is don't like that? No, he's not. Mm -hmm. So Frank just uh, takes the the dagger that he chose and carves up a Hydra agent trying to get information. The Hydra agent never says anything, but Frank can read his mind now thanks to the Gifts of the Beast. Oh. And the hmm. answer that the Hydra agent gave was screaming in his head, so he was able to hear it. Interesting. And uh, yeah, so the High Priestess is like, tell your uh, subjects. All these like ninjas are just waiting and watching and just learning. He tells a story, and he's like, I don't care. What do you? What? No, you want this me to tuck you in? Story too? time. Well, he's like, what do you want me to know? Like, what do you want to learn from me? Do you want to know where to aim when you're shooting at a man who can fly? Which body parts that scrolls can regrow? How to carve up a Nazi to get him to talk? Like, what do you want? To... She goes, no, no, we know all of that. <laughs> like, tell us about your first kill. So Frank's on the roof of his apartment in one of the boroughs of New York, and he's just firing like an airsoft rifle, rifle learning to shoot, and he hears some screaming in the streets, and. Uh, there's this well-dressed dude that is beating a man in the middle of the street and oh. the man's wife tries to help him and uh, the two of them are beaten to death by this man. Oh. oh, God. So her screams echo throughout the street and no one gets involved. And Frank thinks about shooting him but hesitates because he's 10 years old. Right. And it's a pellet gun. Yeah, that's true. The next day, killer's walking around like nothing ever happened. And... He tried to let it go, and he told his parents about it, and they just told him, forget about it. He tries to go to the funeral to maybe get some closure and finds out he's the only one who went, which Aww. only makes him more angry. And then uh, he learns a lot of things, like how to make napalm at home, <laughs> and uh, proceeds to, like, home alone this shit. Or he proceeds to, like, make this plan of how to get these people's screams out of his head. Oh. And... Uh, he makes essentially homemade napalm that he puts on a bucket on the like over the door of this dude's apartment because he lives in the neighborhood. So the guy opens the door to his apartment, gets dumped on, and uh, Frank dresses up in a store-bought plastic with like one of those like rubber band strings in the back, Captain America <laughs> mask, mm -hmm. and says, the names of the people who died, I don't want to hear their screams anymore. I want to hear yours. And then proceeds <laughs> to set him ablaze. And oh. of course, he's covered in napalm, which is now on fire. It'll never come off of him. And he runs through the streets. His screams are reverberating through the streets. Nobody lifts a finger to help him. And he burns to death in the middle of the street. So she says, tell me, how many more have you killed since that day in Queens? And he says, not enough. She <laughs> goes, you are too beautiful for words. Mm -hmm. Like She is so into this whole She's murder. Like, I thing. love it. Yeah. By yes. the way, you've been carving this guy's heart out for five minutes. Uh, yeah. So he finds out it's Ares that's 
like his main antagonist of the story. And he's like, okay, well, let's go. And uh, so she proceeds to uh, go, wait, well, there's actually a, an order of business I need to get take care of right now. See, there are these two ninjas right here and they had a dispute and uh, like, like one said something negative to the other guys and the other guy cut his tongue out. There's recompense, which is standard practice. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but then. Uh, Does it grow back? No. <laughs> Unless I resurrect you, ah. then maybe, but like probably not. But uh, yeah, so she's like, yeah, but the other brother, like, but the ninja killed the guy's brother, and then the other guy was supposed to kill the other brother. It was just like, there's, there's a lot of murdering going on, and it's really stupid, and it's like all self-sabotaging, but this is the way of our stupid <laughs> nonsense culture. No, it says we have oh. to, and we're allowed. Yeah, and uh, so, so yeah. So you get a promotion around here. Right, so. Kill the person above exactly. you. Exactly, so Frank's like, is this true? Is this what happened? And they're like, yes, and he's like, okay. So he just kills them. <laughs> and she goes, I don't understand, why'd you kill them both? And he's like, they were murderers. <laughs> He's just like, well, what do you mean? They admitted that they were killers, and I killed them. And so I'm the, I punished them. <laughs> I can kill all of these guys. They all killed someone at some point. Yes, they're all gonna die. I just die. haven't done they it yet. They all have yeah. to die. Yeah. I'm using them. They're just, they're already dead. <laughs> they're dead men walking. <laughs> they're just gonna serve a purpose for me until, you know, until their time comes. Yes. Okay, but these two could have also <laughs> still served you, Frank. But no, I was done. You, showed your, you showed your hand. I've got an endless supply of ninjas that I will kill. Yeah, I didn't want these ones anymore. I didn't need them. They I was done with they them. Were, I don't know if they're killers yet. They're going to leave to kill Ares, but uh, Marie is having a freak out. Uh-oh. So, she's like, I feel like I'm dead or something. No, she's like, this isn't the park. We left our children in the park. We have to go back. Oh. Yeah. And he's like, hey, 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 Marie, it's cool. She's like, no, we have to get to the, we left them in the park. And he's like, no, no, sh like, we didn't leave them in the park. And she's like, we didn't, why can't I remember? And then they sedate her and put her away. Like put Oof. her back in bed. Yeah. It's like, no, oh, this, this is not gonna end no, well, Frank. No, it is definitely not. So Frank sends like the, the most uh, skilled warriors to kill Ares. Ares is like, he didn't come? Boo, slaughters all of them. Yeah. It, all, almost all of them. And uh, so Frank goes to the uh, altar of the beast and uh, he's talking to the high priestess and the high priestess is like, well, you have to pray. You have to pray before your father, the beast. It's not really, it's not like he like impregnated his mom. <laughs> oh, thank God. But, like, she's like, just call him your father or something. You know, like, like oh. many religions. Okay. Yeah. But uh, she's like, tell your father how much you miss your children. And we see that there's these two caskets before them. And it's like, I, Frank's like, I need, like, it's not enough like to bring back Maria. Like right. she's not gonna be satisfied until the kids are back. Right. So So I have to tell so the piece that I need my kids. Is that how he got his wife back? He just no, believed they, hard enough? They or? brought her back uh, for him to get him here. Right, and, but uh, for yeah. the children, they need him to well, do something. Or they want him to. No, they're gonna use the same elixirs and crap on the uh, children. It's just that like she wants him to like, she's like, I know you don't buy this. Right, I need you, but I need you to buy into it I a little bit. I need you to be in on this. It's not yeah. enough for you to glow. I need you to freaking believe it. Right. The Archpriestess brings a couple of survivors from Ares Slaughter mm. back, and she's like, you have to kill them. They, uh, they failed. They failed. Surviving a massacre isn't a crime. I need them. No. Get up. Oh, <laughs> she's like, okay, she's he's like, really screwing up how the <laughs> hand works. She's like, I, 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 but this then is... she's like, wait, wait, wait until you hear what they did. And apparently Ares made the ninjas pray before him, like worship him instead. Oh. And, he's like, okay. And what? he goes, that's it? Get up. <laughs> Like, did you kill anyone? Yay. Right. Did you? I don't care. <laughs> I know you didn't kill anyone because I told you to kill Ares and you're still here. <laughs> yeah. She's so like, she, okay. Right. So she's like. We gotta have a talk. <laughs> yes. She, she, she yells at them and then, and then like, and she's like, okay. I, I don't think you realize like how much work it was to get your wife back and like, we're putting up with a lot, okay? And he's like, I'm killing people. You love, you, you get off on me murdering people. I don't understand. I'm doing it every day. You know, yeah. this is worse when Daredevil's around. And she's like, we, we, you can't deny who we are. You can't deny us our true purpose. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> yes, it, I can. He goes, listen, when they go next time, I'll be with them. That's why they won't fail. Let's go. And so the, the ninjas are on the ground. They're like, uh, so High Priestess, should we leave? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bark, 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 Bark. Yeah. <laughs> he, he says we're good. Yeah. So Frank is like training with his sword in the night. And he is visited by Lady Bullseye and... Lord Deathstrike. Lady Bullseye? Yeah, she's a holdover from the 2000s. And uh, they attack him. 
and it's because High Priestess is like, I need, I need to, like, A, I need to, like, strengthen my own resolve and believe in Frank, but I also need to, like, see if he's really willing to do these things. Like, mm. I feel like we've learned enough, but all right, we, we, we need to pad this out and put in some fun characters. Uh, so... Uh, High Priestess is praying before the Altar of the Beast when Ares shows up and he's like, hey, you go ahead and pray before your fat, stupid, lame god. <laughs> Who's not even <laughs> here. Who's not even real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm literally here. Actually, he's a projection, but like, you know, oh. yeah, but I could be if I wanted to be. <laughs> Listen, enough with... Frank doesn't buy into your silly ninja nonsense. He will wor He worships me. He worships uh, the war. Yeah. I'm a, uh, don't steal my greatest disciple, please. And I love this. Like that when I when I got Ares, I was like, oh my god, it's like a it's like a, it's like the story of Joe. Yeah. They're arguing over their favorite design. They're like, right. I want him. It's not really no, the story he's of mine. Joe. It's like I want him. Yeah. It's like a draft. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, oh come on, who can who can entice him with more stuff? Right. Yeah. We gave his wife. He'll never leave war. That's right. Frank lives for the war. And it's like, yeah, no, but he left the war for the wife. So Anyway, she's like, no, he's he's all in, and you should you should have seen him fight Lady Bullseye. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, they're they're yelling at him about how like he's stupid and lame, and they're like, you're Frank Castle the Punisher. You're not supposed to be here. You're a street level character who sells like twenty thousand copies of a comic book. But you, you're not worth all this. And uh, so they try to kill him, and they're like, it's it's a shame because like we are big fans of your work. Like, you are a badass, but like. Don't use swords. You're, you're stupid. <laughs> and so they fire guns at him, and he immediately like starts glowing, and he pulls out the dagger, and he plunges it into Death Strike, and he dies. He just explodes in a ball of fire. And she's like, oh, shit, you're real. You're the Fist of the Beast. I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> immediately worships him. And uh, High Priestess is like reeling from this victory and like lording it in Ares' face. Well, yeah, like, see, he's see? revealing his, his hand power. Yeah. Yeah, he, he just turned all red and stuff. He's mine. Maria's like, I don't like this place. This place is weird and scary and foreign to me. Oh, I'm not gosh. from here. I don't want to be here. Can't we, like, go someplace normal like a hockey game? Also, so, like, Maria, could don't you just... like the weird uh, demon logo on your chest. Why can't it just be a skull? Yeah, I liked it better with the skull. You don't even remember the skull, Maria. So, Man, could you just, like, get off my back for, like, five seconds? It's just sad. It's like, oh, my God. Like, we're going to do this? Where she's just like, ah! Like, it's like, I have my life back. Ah! Oh, and come on, Maria. I don't think this is wrong. Everything's yeah, wrong. Is yep. This Yay. isn't the way it's supposed to be. Back to normal. <laughs> Where are our kids, our children? Yeah. Oh. Every time I sleep, it's just nothing but pain and torture. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh. Hey, maybe uh, maybe you want to get back in bed, though? <laughs> <laughs> Frank just leaves. Well, that's was stupid. <laughs> so we, we retconned that Frank was really into hockey. Like he was a hockey oh, player. Oh, well, because it's a violent it's a, sport. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, there's a sequence in which we see how Frank Castle met Maria in the first place. Mm. Uh, he's he's window checking a dude, and his blood like splatters all over the window, and oh. through the blood he sees her face. <laughs> I'm like, yes! <laughs> this is the Punisher! I love it. I'm like, this is, look, it's unmitigatedly cool. Right. It's, it's just hardcore and fun. Like, it... it Frank Castle is a ninja, and he thinks that's stupid as fuck. <laughs> and that is exactly how it should be. And the God of War is like, I want him. You know Frank would be like, shut up! <laughs> what? That's not what's happening. That's dumb? You're real? <laughs> that's stupid. Like, all, Frank Castle does not belong in this story, and it works so pitch perfect. And we have these really cool like flashbacks to kind of ground it. Mm -hmm. Remind you like who Frank Castle is and where he came from. Right, despite all this nonsense going on around him, he's like, just a guy. He's just a guy who fell in love with who's, a girl. Whose life was defined by violence. And is really messed up. Like, he's just yeah. a really broken, damaged, miserable person. So he's and, like, all right, and I gotta... there's no fixing that. Right. No. So he's like, all right, I gotta go. So he goes uh, with his like loyal army of ninjas to the helicopter, and High Priestess is like, Okay, I figured out, I, I prayed for the beast, and I, I put together the lesson you were trying to teach us <laughs> about sparing the lives of those two dog soldiers. And he's like, oh no. And they like appear before her, and they're wearing like different color, they're wearing Punisher robes in his new logo. Ah, uh, yes. But uh, they're wearing these robes, she's like, these are your reborn disciples. Oh. Like, I slaughtered their families. Like, I needed to take away everything of them in order for them to be reborn. And he's like, oh, what? 
And oh she's my like, God. yeah, what, now what would you have us do next? And he immediately plunges his sword into her shoulder. Like, oh, this was a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, this is stupid. I'm he, he didn't <laughs> behead her? Come on. No, he just, he just she turns into a crazy, like, goop monster. She's like, <laughs> and he's like, oh. oh, shit. That is not what I was expecting when I was <laughs> trying to kill an old woman. <laughs> but she's, like, writhing on the ground and becoming goop. She's the thing. She's the thing. And he's just like, uh, uh, There's oh. bizarre teeth yeah, coming out of teeth places. Everywhere. So it's like a teratoma. So he's <laughs> like, all right. And the ninjas go, God bless the beast. That was awesome what you did. Huh. And they just get out of his way. So he takes Marie and he runs into the forest. And as and the further away from the temple he gets, uh, the more unconscious she becomes. Until finally mm. she's like, wait, I know this feeling. It feels like dying. And she falls apart. And, well, she, she collapses in his arms. Mm. So he immediately turns around and goes back. And uh, and the and the archpriestess is back and she's normal and she's oh. like she's like yeah no oh sorry you didn't sorry. think it would be that easy it's, did you yeah like welcome back Lord Punisher yeah no we got to get her back to the elixirs quickly yeah no yeah <laughs> she's you back thought, you thought you could leave she's you dummy <laughs> well she was like it's not she's she's not fully healed she's not done yet like it's you know you didn't we're not we're not being duplicitous it's just that she wasn't right. finished you you didn't understand what we were working on. Right. So then we get a flashback learning about Frank Castle's only friend. That's Stedman Sternberger. Uh, Stedman Sternberger, nerd. <laughs> getting his ass kicked. He's a, he's a nerd. He's, he's got a nerd. a nerd name. He's got a nerd name. He's got a nerd face. And they're trying to put his face into a urinal. Frank gets the brass knuckles that he stole from the guy whom he murdered for the first time. Yep. And just beats the living shit out of everybody. Nice. And says, touch him again and I tear out your fingernails. And you're like, oh, oh. Frank. And so... They're like, holy shit, Frank Castle's insane! Leave him alone! <laughs> this is this is bizarrely creepy. Yeah, so uh, Sternberger is for, is now the other person that no one touches in the school. <laughs> and uh, Sternberger's like, hey Frank, listen, man, like I'm I know you're I know you're like my friend, I guess, but like you're scaring the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm actually terrified of you. Right, and also like now you're drinking, like in school. Oh. You need to stop. Like you're not gonna graduate. And then. I'll probably be beaten to death. Huh, yeah, what do I do if you don't graduate? He's like, listen, I, you saved my, you probably saved my life. So I, I, I owe you. Like, I have an idea for what to do with your misplaced aggression. Have you ever thought about becoming the devil? And it's the devil's hockey team. Ah. Uh, but like, not the Jersey Devils. No. The, just the, the, the junior high school. Yeah. The high school devils. The fighting devils. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So Frank but, is now, and he's great at the parts of hockey where you beat the shit out of people. Right. Yeah, he's just not good at any other part of hockey. <laughs> exactly. And uh, Sternberger notices Frank's infatuation with Maria. And when he sees her face, like through the blood, he's like, it reminds me of somebody. And it's the woman who was beaten to death in the street. Uh. Uh, so Sternberger is like, oh, like Frank likes this girl. But he's also like a monoslavic monster. He's also a raging psychopath. Yeah. So Sternberger goes to Maria while Frank's playing the game and he goes, you know, he really likes you. And he told, he, he gave me this note for you to read. Huh. And she goes, he wrote all these things about me? And you're like, wow. Oh my so she God. goes to every hockey game and eventually they hook up. Uh, and Frank <laughs> somehow manages to graduate high school. So their relationship is based on a lie. Complete lie. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Sternberger is, uh, you know, Unfortunately, one friend down because now Frank spends all this time macking it with Maria. A couple of uh, students invite Sternberger to hang out with them. Uh, he doesn't go drinking, but the driver of the car does. And uh, Sternberger is killed in a drunk driving accident with oh. this group of uh, teenagers. It gets worse <laughs> somehow <laughs> when they did the autopsy. Like, they discover that, like, Sternberger's throat is raw from the screaming. Like, he didn't die right away. Oh. He screamed himself hoarse until he could know, and then he died in silence by himself. And like, ugh. So Jesus. why is this in the coroner's report? Oh my god! Frank calls Maria from a payphone after graduation uh, to tell her that he had to take care of a few things, including joining the Marine Corps. And she is like, "I'm pregnant." Oh my god! She also tells him that like those boys that were involved in the Sternberger accident uh, are, are are dead. Uh, they were they went missing and then uh, they were recently found. Yeah, you know parts of them. But exactly. <laughs> the, you didn't have anything them. to do with that. She just says like, remember that? Remember those? Remember those guys that were involved in like? I guess your friends like death. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're gone. And he's like, that's fine. 
Hmm. He's like, well, anyway, I joined the Marine Corps. And she's like, well, I'm pregnant. And he's like, oh. You understand, I, I have to join the Marine Corps and get out of the country, otherwise <laughs> I am going to be linked to several murders. <laughs> when he returns with Maria, the high priestess, perhaps there's still time to help her. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to discuss? <laughs> he goes, if Maria's dead when I get back, I'm going to burn this whole place to the ground. Bye. <laughs> so Frank's helicopter and his ninjas were taken down via a banner cannon. They love those freaking guns. <laughs> they have like eight guns, but they're only really focused on the banner cannons. Right. Uh, but They're just so cool to draw. Look at these green glowing tanks. They did a great thing where like when they kill the lights on the banner, like when they're holding the banner cannons and they kill the lights, all you can see is the green glow of the banner cannons. Yeah. That's cool, I guess. It does give away your position. Dead well, they weren't banner. expecting the lights to go yeah. out. <laughs> exactly. So Frank enters the Acropolis or whatever, and he's just like unloading in these people, and then Ares engages Frank wearing his new body armor. <laughs> Which is the Punisher logo. Punisher logo. What? Is he's, that just Frank's body armor? That he just no, literally he made picked his own from body his, armor. Oh. He's, wear, he's like, no, I'm doing this in deference to you. Like, <laughs> I'm your god. You wear my visage. This is me now. <laughs> I love that he wears it. That's it's amazing. so fun. We see a little flashback about like how Maria tries to, she's eight months pregnant. She tries to see Frank off to the war. Yeah. He hides from her. Which war? Whatever war, no war is going on in the time frame where Frank Castle is 18 years old in the Marvel Universe. Frank tries to kill Ares, the god of war, and it's not going well. Uh, he uses every weapon in his arsenal. He's shooting bazookas at him. and he's Does like, he try love? He does not hug him. He should. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a god. Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, but it's a living god. Like, it's a god on Earth. Like, Sentry pulled you in half. I could probably fight you. <laughs> I'm Frank a Castle. I'm a delusional psychopath. Right. So Frank turns into the beast fist. And he's getting... Gri- he beasts out. He beasts out. He, like, melts the dudes who were holding him and then immediately tries to stab Ares with the dagger. It, it's not enough. And Ares smashes. He shatters the dagger in Frank's hand. Oh. And says, you were like a son to me. And then proceeds to bash his face into death and then leaves him in a fountain. Oh. We do a little flashback about like Frank during the war in the barracks. All the like soldiers talking about, like the, the, his his bunk mates talk about like their first kill. One of them is like, I don't know. Like I just I fire out of the woods. We find bodies. Who knows who shot him? Right. You know. Like and, and then they go, How about you, Frank? Frank. He's just sitting in his bunk like looking at a picture, and like Frank, what was what was like what was your first kill? Like I was ten years old, and they all just start laughing. <laughs> Uh, but Frank is really, really upset because he got a photo of his son and he doesn't, he doesn't know why he doesn't feel anything. Oh. Oh. So oh boy. Frank wakes up in the uh, lair of the beast. He's been resurrected. Uh, the Archpriest is like, you died or kind of died and my ninjas are everywhere and they brought you back and we got to put more elixirs in you to get you back. He's like, I'm fine. It's close enough. How are the kids doing? Huh. He's like, okay. So um, he goes, take me to them, show me. Did it work this time? And uh, n- no. Oh. They look, oh. They look like AI generated art. Oh my God. And she says, it's always difficult with children, especially children who have been dead longer than they were alive. Oh. And every time that we try this, we have less original material to work with. She, she goes, maybe we can try something. No, we're done. It's over. And she goes, okay, I'll have some ninja. And he goes, no, don't don't touch my children. Mm. And then he proceeds to, like, destroy them. Yeah. Oof. So then he goes outside. Freaking yikes, man. Yes. Yeah. Really rough. So he goes outside to throw up, and then Daredevil shows up and goes, Frank, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what are you doing messing around with the here? Yeah. What are you doing? I wear red. I blend in. I've yeah. been here for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I've literally been here since the beginning. Uh, and this lines up with Chip Zdarsky's book, because that's where Daredevil's heading, is Daredevil is oh. going to eventually uh, join stick and Electra and like fight the hand mm-hmm. and I think they handle it poorly but it's like it's going okay that they, they reveal to Daredevil in the Daredevil book that Frank Castle is leading the hand should have been bigger and cooler and it just wasn't mm. it was fine and mm. I appreciate it but like it wasn't enough yeah so <laughs> Frank, what the hell are you doing Frank, what the hell are you Frank, doing God. So then, uh, that was the first volume, which is in the comments down below. And then there's these three other issues I want to talk about, because that's when that's when I was like, oh, because I was really enjoying this. But then we get to the further part of it. Oh. So, you know, Frank fights Daredevil. Is it because Daredevil showed up? You're like, yes. I mean, it's cool, but, like, it's really about, for, like, Daredevil did not need to be in this. Oh. And it would still be dope. Okay. Because, you know, eventually Frank comes home from the war. And 
Maria goes to church and she's talking to the to the to the priest about it and uh, she's working at the church as well she's like doing help you know making some money and stuff okay like it, it's it's a real it's a real problem like this this marriage to my husband who came back I have this dream where like he enters the, the house from war and he's in fire <laughs> and oh. he's the devil and when he makes love to me he wants me to call him the beast <laughs> which is not something I'm into. Uh, and he goes, well, if you're worried about his soul, just have him come in. No, then a couple of Hail Marys won't fix. <laughs> don't worry, we got this. So, uh, uh, Really? Yeah. I don't think that's what you're supposed to say to me. Eh. I feel like you're supposed to be more sympathetic or something. I mean, you know. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you had a child out of wedlock, so you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, we're wasting time here anyway. <laughs> so uh, Frank and uh, Matt end up talking, and I love Matt. Just this is beyond the pale, Frank, even for you, man. I mean, what do you think is going on here? You're not a ninja. You got a sword, now you think you're a ninja. What does your wife think about all of this anyway? Why, you know, why don't we go meet Maria and talk about it? And he huh. just throws Matic away. He goes, don't go near my wife, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Matt and Frank fight, and it's awesome. I love Matt. Till death do us part, did she even have a choice? He's like, oh. ouch. We, we retcon how Frank's marriage to Maria fares after he returns from war. Mm -hmm. He is reclusive. He's, the only job he could get is he is a uh, gut trap scrubber at a meat packing district, which he chose deliberately because it keeps Maria away from him. Oh. Because he, he smells. Yeah. Uh, the children are afraid of him, and he doesn't try to engage with them, and he sleeps in a tent in the backyard. <laughs> oh, my God. Holding his gun. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Uh, people will uh, periodically come to the house, soldiers, mm -hmm. uh, with gifts because of what Frank did for them in the war, and he tells them to fuck off. <laughs> Frank didn't like me hearing these old stories. He acted like the war was an old flame he didn't want his wife to find out about. Mm. Wow. Really tying in that Ares plot. Yeah. Is this like a massive retcon, or this it's, could be... It easily could be what happened, but yeah. I don't remember it actually being established in the lore. Right. Um, we okay. don't really talk much about Frank before he became the Punisher. Huh. But, uh, and also, there have been strange. like multiple wars that he's been a part of. Well, yeah, right? Yeah. Like, he just keeps re-enlisting or something. But, like, it's just the one time. It's really just, he goes off to war, <laughs> to, yeah. and he comes home, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, so, after having her but, second but he, child... You know what? He doesn't come home, though. That's the thing. That's right. He never comes the home. Punisher comes home. Yeah. But uh, after she has the her, her son, she had, like, a hysterectomy, and she ended up being in the hospital for a few days, so Frank had to watch the kids. Oh. And when she came home, the house was a wreck. Just garbage and food everywhere. And she, it wasn't, in the, it wasn't until that moment she realized how afraid of her husband she'd become. Hmm. And she went out into the backyard, into the tent to find her children and husband, and they're asleep. And he's holding both of them. Hmm. And she's like, oh, like, he's... Protecting He's them. being a father. Kind of. Nah. And then... Uh, He's doing what he can. Yeah. So then she left them sleeping in the tent and went to bed in her own room. Mm -hmm. And uh, then Frank eventually came to her and tries to tell her about something that happened when he was 10 years old but couldn't find the words. As Daredevil and Frank are fighting, uh, Frank's eyes start to like glow with red, with red flame. Mm. And Matt goes, your eyes are on fire, Frank. But it's okay because Doctor Strange taught me a very special spell I need to help deal with you oh, and get this, get this thing out of you. Mm -hmm. So he pulls out a cross and he proceeds to do an exorcism on Frank. Huh. Wait, Doctor, Doctor Strange taught him that? Yeah. And I'm he like, didn't just learn it from being Catholic? I mean, I, you also don't, like, you, you can't do an exorcism. You're not a priest. You're just devout. And even then, you're not. <laughs> but uh, so he tries to I'm do the exorcism. I'm the most devout. I'm daredevil. Right? So he tries to do the exorcism and he's like, huh. There's supposed to be a lot more like screaming. Maybe I missed a word. And then Frank like bursts into flames and pushes Matt off of him. And he goes, oh. and he goes, look at me. Look at me with whatever senses you have, Daredevil. <laughs> Tell me if you see a man possessed. Yes. And Daredevil's like, mother of God. <laughs> I'm not a puppet. I'm not a demon. I'm using these guys. Mm -hmm. Like I'm the Punisher. <laughs> and uh, it's it's then that both Frank and Matt realize that that, that Frank's flying. <laughs> they're like several feet off the ground. Oh my god! Daredevil leaves. The high priestess and a bunch of hand ninjas show up, and she goes, "It was Daredevil, that bastard defiler. What did he say?" And he goes, "Nothing. He hasn't said before." <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, that's true. In the past, after like Maria and Frank reconcile, Maria somehow manages to convince Frank to go to church and talk to the priest. Hmm. Uh, the priest, after a very long time in the confessional, just runs out of the confession. <laughs> of course! Uh, oh my god, I love it. Thought uh, I could sign. It's after that that Maria loses her job at the church, Father Ford never looks her in the eye again, mm. and Frank starts sleeping in the tent again. Oh. Sorry. So. But that image of him walking out. Oh my god, of the church? Yeah! Surrounded by all the bodies of the people he slaughtered? Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's really dark. Yeah. So, uh, so they're talking, you know, Frank and Maria uh, mm -hmm. in the past. So we flash back to that that day. And she's like, there's other churches. Maybe we could. He goes, I'm not going back to church, Maria. That's done. It's not safe there. <laughs> she goes, not safe, Frank. It's church. And he goes, the kids told me what happened the last time you took them. There's a creepy man in an alley somewhere. And this is a creepy man who was also part of the hand who was like, yeah, the beast. Mm. But like, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't like the idea of my children being around unsafe people uh listen this is a this is a this is a dangerous place have you ever fired a gun she's like you know i haven't he goes well you're about to learn and he gives her a gun and he's mm -hmm. like i guess this is his way of trying to like connect with her in some way <laughs> we cut back to now frank goes back to maria and uh they're talking oh weird yeah uh she has her dream about him returning from home mm -hmm. like, or from war and uh he goes you're safe here and she goes i know i'm with you listen the children aren't coming home, are they? Mm. And he's like, no, they aren't. Mm. And she goes, that's probably for the best. Oh, thank God. I'm not going to tell you what they look like. <laughs> yeah. And she goes, the priestess says I'm getting stronger every day and I'm remembering more things. Mm. That's good. And he goes, yeah. Mm. So she goes, listen, there's just one thing I don't understand. Why do they call you the Punisher? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> oh, uh, Maria's finding out. This is uh, awesome. <laughs> So while that's happening, uh, Ares is leading an assault on the Hand Temple. Oh. Uh, led by two Hand Ninjas that he tortured and uh, chained up and are using as dogs to lead them through the forest. That's funny. Oh. <laughs> that's fun. So yeah, you can only get back because they've been there you've before. they've been there, yeah. Right. So, and the, by the way, the ninjas themselves, they're not necessarily like betrayers. They're like, we're, hey, we're, well, I'm happy to take you there because the beast will kill you. Right. Yeah, like, I'm not concerned about this. Yeah. I love that he has, like, tanks with him. Yeah. That's awesome. It's so great. Yeah, because he's yeah. got a war. He's like, I'm a weapons dealer. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm also the Punisher. And right. he likes I, I military cannot get hardware. over his, like, centurion right. dudes yeah, I know. in yeah. suits. I know, wearing suits. <laughs> suits. And, you know, my the, helmet. Exactly. Well, no, yeah, because it's like, it's it's what, like, the new warriors of today wear. Like, they, they, they sell these weapons of mass destruction, but wearing, like, business suits. All right, Nicolas Cage. Jesus. So Frank starts taking Maria and the children to the park. And... Oh, having... we're almost there. Oh. We're almost caught up to... Yeah. Or is that just another time in the park? Not right. The time but, uh, no, it's just another time. Okay. Like, we're, we're establishing that that's what they're trying to do. I see. And Frank and Maria are now going to couples counseling. Oh, and uh, Maria is explaining to the to the counselor, like, you know, we went home, and then, well, that was two weeks ago, and Frank hasn't talked to me. And it's just the same over, like, he reaches out, and then he regresses, and I don't know what to do. Mm. Okay. Uh, so Frank's killing the latest uh, catch of the day. Yeah. Know, slaughtering Oh, he's still usual. doing that? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's still on brand for him. We yeah, haven't found like, all of them like, yet. That's, like, priority one, is, yeah. like, getting these people off the street, and then moving them to Japan and killing them. Uh, Ares has led an assault on the, on, on the hand. And the Archpriest is finding out about it. She's like, oh my god, we, we, gotta do, we gotta do this, that, and the other thing. And Frank's like, that's fine, just bring him in. Just let him come, it's fine. <laughs> she goes, no, uh, the, the God of War shattered your dagger. Like, it's, it, we, we, how, do you, how are we gonna stop him? And he goes, we? <laughs> no. Like, okay, I haven't killed everybody here. Like, all the people that I'm supposed to be killing every day. I haven't killed, like, half of them. Let them go. Give them your weapons. Just hand ninjas, give, give them your swords. And and, he, and so they get their swords. And he takes off all of his accoutrements, and they're like, oh, "Okay." And they <laughs> get their swords to go kill Punisher. And he proceeds to identify each one, and what they did, <laughs> and how they did it, and slaughters them, all of them, with his hand powers. With his hand powers, mm. he's getting like swords in the gut, and he's healing from them. Oh. And then finally, uh, he he gets stabbed in the stomach, and he says, "That's not powerful enough." And then he 
punches the guy's head off. <laughs> like Ares oh did. Oh, my God. Yeah. And you can see his brains just blast out of his skull. And she says, ah, you have the marrow of the beast, one another of the five gifts. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, no, I can't be stopped. <laughs> Frank brings his, like, disciples, those, like, other Punisher oh, ninjas. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he goes, oh, yeah, the reborn. Yeah. I'm sorry that your families were killed. By the way, uh, Archpriestess justifies that by being like, oh, they're families of the hand. Like, they were murderers themselves. It's okay that I killed them. <laughs> yeah, you would have killed them too. Right, eventually. And Frank's like, your families will be avenged. I'm sorry that happened. Do what I want you to do right now, and I promise that, like, I will punish those who, who hurt you. Like, and, and, then, and one day punish you too. And, and then you will be with your families again. Uh. And he's like, I need you to take this, this, this dagger that was broken by Ares and reforge it into bullets for me. <laughs> like, yes! uh, that's not really a skill that we have for uh, ninjas. They managed to do it. <laughs> okay. And they make him a special handgun. Oh. Damn you. That's red. <laughs> nice. So it's the past. Marie yeah. wakes up and she finds that Frank's gone. She takes the gun. Uh, she finds that Frank is standing in the window of their house of their of their house like with his gun and she goes Jesus Christ, Frank! I could have, I could have shot you. Is not, your, not unless your aim is improved since last time we were working together. <laughs> she goes, "What are you doing?" Really? Those are the jokes you're making to me, Frank. <laughs> right? She goes, "What are you doing?" He goes, "I thought I heard something." Go back to bed. It's fine. She's like, "No, uh, we need a husband and a father here. Can you be those things?" And he's like, "I don't know." She goes, "Do you want to?" Mm. And he puts the gun down. He goes, "I do." Aww. And then they do it on the couch. And huh. outside the house, it's crawling with ninjas. Oh my god. And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, they're taking pictures. We see that later. What? But uh, Ares stands before the doors of the of the hand temple, and then Frank like walks through with his disciples and says, Gods don't win wars, bullets do. <laughs> oh my god. Like, okay. Well, that's awesome. I like where this is going. <laughs> So uh, there's just a full frontal assault. Uh, Frank just starts like firing bullets into the tanks. They explode. Uh -huh. uh, meanwhile, in New York, uh, Daredevil is chatting it up with Wolverine, being like, "So Frank Castle's in the hand. Mm -hmm. You were taken over by the hand. You know what it's like. So do I. It's a problem. Frank's a prolific murderer. Mm -hmm. We need to do. We need to have a team up and deal with Frank Castle. Okay." And uh, Wolverine's like, "Snickety snickety snarl." Let's do this. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, he's uh, getting his Berserker Barrage out. <laughs> <laughs> so Frank busts out his, uh, his sword and his gun. And he's Ares, all glowy. Yeah. So Ares picks up a tank and just throws it at the Punisher. He missed because the Punisher flew. And then proceeds to shoot Ares in the chest with his awesome new gun. Nice. We gotta, we gotta break things up with a flashback. Right. Well, we can't just have a linear story. No. no. The hand ninjas that have been following Frank since he was 10 years old reporting to the Arch Priestess they're like, he continues to work at a meatpacking plant. Every dime he makes, he goes to his wife. The frequency of their intercourse has increased. <laughs> uh, once a month, they go to the park as a family. Frank Castle flew a kite yesterday. <laughs> it, he has not murdered a single person since he came back from the Marine Corps. Hmm. With all due respect, this man is not the fist of the beast. <laughs> your, your wires are crossed. There's nothing about this guy. He wants to be with his family. He's going to couples counseling. <laughs> That's not that working. sound like, like a the, fist of the beast to you. Does that sound like a disciple of the devil? <laughs> she flipped the table. No! <laughs> She's just like a minor setback. And they're like, listen, we from our data that we've gathered as ninjas, <laughs> we can assess the fact that Frank Castle is not being the fist of the beast because of his family. I, I even like went up as a census taker one time, which was like, hi, I'm just wondering how many people live here. Mm -hmm. What's your occupation? Do you feel like you're the hand of the beast? <laughs> Would you worship a devil if he bestowed upon you five gifts that included flight or eye <laughs> flyer? But anyway, and, the like, results were not encouraging. The, <laughs> so they're like, listen, we need to take away his family. And we're the hand, we could make it look like anything. <laughs> And we proceed to show you, like, the slaughter in Central Park and the ninjas in the trees at Central oh Park. Oh, my God. And they're like, we, and she's like, what are you proposing, ninja? And he's like, we have to murder his entire family. And you as the reader are like, oh, God damn it. And then the Archpriestess goes, no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 
She goes, no, 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 no. The beast will provide, if he is the true fist of the hand, like, it will happen. It yeah. will happen. We don't need, we, that's not what we do here. We yeah. don't bring about our prophecies. Exactly. That's, that's bullshit. Yeah, we, let's pray <laughs> instead. And th I love that you can imagine the ninjas in the fucking tree while watching Frank Castle's family die go, son of a bitch. Oh, he must be the one. Yeah, I guess she's not wrong. You owe me 50 bucks, Larry. <laughs> so we're watching this like other uh, contingent coalesce. Uh, Black Widow was in a spin-off book called Punisher War Journal Blitz that is part of this continuity. And she reports to Captain America like, uh, so Frank Castle is magic now. And uh, for whatever reason- <laughs> That's one thing we never wanted to have happen. Yeah, or at least he's been magic again. He's been magic at least three times. Uh -huh. One time was with, the, with God. Another time it was with the monsters. And now it's with the hand. But uh, this time it's pretty scary. We need to deal with it. So uh, anyway, Captain America's like, feel bad, but you know, I thought we could like, uh, you know, he's an old soldier. I thought maybe we could fix it, but like. Um, it's a Marine. Yeah, exactly. Shut up, Captain America. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, things are coming together. Oh shit. So while the war against Ares and the Hand is raging on outside, the arch priestess is praying before the beast. Uh, Maria sneaks into the lair of the beast and says, I don't understand like what you're supposed to be <laughs> or what you want with him but you can't have my husband. And you're like, what is that supposed to mean? Mm. We're getting a little bit of like a monologue of Maria talking about the experience being married to Frank after all that, after like the, you know, all the stuff we saw in the flashbacks. And mm -hmm. she talks about how um, whenever anybody would talk to Frank about the war, like he would let them talk, but anytime they started getting to him, he would rush them out the door mm. as though the war uh, itself were, were his mistress, and he couldn't have his wife and his mistress ever meet. <laughs> and uh, when, and then eventually she starts sneaking out at night and going to bars and meeting up with soldiers that fought with Frank Castle mm. and ask them questions about Frank. And they would tell stories that would bring tears to their eyes that sounded like nonsense or insanity, mm -hmm. but they, it, like they, she's like looking in their eyes and seeing doubt like they couldn't even believe what they were seeing with the expert mastery that Frank Castle did what he did in war. Mm. And she, like he was some kind of god or a mythological creature. <laughs> While she's talking about what she learned about her husband, about his true nature, uh, Frank is beating Ares and rips off his black jacket like, no, no, no. This ain't, this ain't yours. You're this ain't not, yours. Yeah. And uh, proceeds to like shoot him in the kneecaps <laughs> and bringing Ares to his knees. And when he takes off the flak jacket, Ares looks, in, looks Frank Castle in the eyes and goes, Frank, I am very proud of you. And then Frank shoots him between the eyes and kills Ares, the god of war. Wow. Well, shit. So while uh, that all happens, she says these things. This is what made me go like, oh my God. She's like, I began to wonder if the man I married was the man I knew at all. In fact, there's a lot of like things throughout where she's like, do you think Frank even wrote those words to me? <laughs> like she's immediately doubts that like, right. she's, like oh. I, she's like, I was wrong about like my assessment of the war and me. Like I'm the mistress. <laughs> the war was what he was wedded to. It's always been the war. And I love that she says that while he kills the god of war. Yeah. And then proceeds to like exit the woods while the hand ninjas and the Ares soldiers, the girl, behold the new god of war. Huh. So everyone bows before Frank Castle. Wow. Not how I expected that going. I love this thing that happens in one panel that is not commented on by anyone. Yes, but Let's after the word speak for itself. After he defeats Ares, yeah. and the people are like bowing to him both sides, yes. then as he walks through them, Ares people burst into flames. <laughs> They're worshiping him, and he still sets them on fire. <laughs> Behold the new god of war. Bless yeah. the war. No. no. Burn you. Bye, 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 bye. I don't like that. You were selling weapons. You were just fighting me. Yeah, and you're bad guys. Yeah, you're bad guys. Burn. Burn. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> she says, when I stumbled out of those bars hearing the stories about the man I thought I knew, the man I hoped was finally beginning to love me. I should have felt more frightened than ever. I should have been terrified. But for him to be so good at a thing that I could see him trying desperately to walk away from for his family, I realized I'd never loved my husband more. <laughs> he was married to the war and he chose me instead. And as that is revealed, she, Maria, emerges from the temple dressed as the new archpriestess of the hand. 
Oh. What? And it says, welcome home, my love. And the Archpriestess is there to greet, the, <laughs> the old one is there to greet Frank, and the ninjas put swords against her and go, not you. Uh, <laughs> and so She's getting cut out. Yeah, no, you've been replaced. Yeah, we don't need you anymore. He takes her into his arms, and the two of them, like, fly away. And, oh, uh, they have a Superman moment. Right? <laughs> uh, meanwhile, this story wraps up with uh, Moon Knight. What? <laughs> Being like, uh, so I've been, I, so. I thought I knew crazy. Well, that's true, but also like, you know, Moon Knight's a street level, he's one of the few street level characters left. And he's like, I'm on the street and I, I'm hearing reports and I'm seeing ninjas are just like skittering around the place, grabbing bad people and disappearing with them. <laughs> and their corpses are turning up in Japan of all places. Exactly. And I'm like, I'm hearing that apparently, cause like, you know, I worship a God too, that uh, Ares is dead and was murdered by the Punisher. And uh, Doctor Strange is like, Ares is a god. And he's like, yeah, well, uh, look, uh, apparently Punisher flies now. So, so Doctor Strange goes, if even one of the things you said is true, then I think we're in agreement here. I always knew this day would come, uh, but we need to answer a very important question. How do you solve a problem like Frank Castle? And we see that like this is new like team of heroes, Doctor Strange, Captain America, Wolverine, uh, Black Widow, and Moon Knight are gonna have to go Fight the Punisher. I can't not hear that line. It's a song. I know. I yeah. can not think the sound of music. Exactly. I can't this believe Marie is on board. I love it. I'm like, yes. Yes. I I was convinced when she was wearing the robe, it was like, oh, the Archpriestess is like shit changing her form or something. Oh. They're like, this is what you could have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. No, they're like, uh, you, no. She's like, no. Well, I made you. Yeah. <laughs> And now I rule. Yep. I never, ever gave you any reason to believe in me. I, <laughs> I, yeah, I never I lied to you. I never I lied to you. I told you from the day that I got here, I was not on board. I was going to use you. I tried to murder you a few days ago. <laughs> and you yeah. still thought I could be yours. Yeah. No. You idiot. I love the fact, I thought Maria was going to go into the, the temple yeah. and kill herself. Oh. Be like, no. You can never have my husband yes. because you will never have me to manipulate it. Exactly. Oh. No, she's no, she's, like, she's just like, no, no. it's like, we find out that the Maria who died was like, my husband is a ruthless, <laughs> bloodthirsty killing machine and I couldn't be more turned on. <laughs> because he chose us. Yeah, because yes. yes. he's like. He, he's, he's so good at it. Like he chose, like he is perfect at this thing and he walked away from it for me. Yeah. Nothing hotter than that. And I'm like... Not even a note in a hockey game. That's right. A fake note from a nerd. It's just, it's unapologetic in its execution. Like, it's like, here, here's some flashbacks that retcon who Frank Castle is, where he came from, and all the stories. And you're like, yeah! What? Yeah! But we also <laughs> don't change how his family died. Exactly. No. We don't change anything. They set it yeah. up so well, and they're yeah. like, no. It's flawless. It's flawless in its execution. Like, you could, you could retell all the flashbacks, remove all the ninja crap, and it's still engaging in dope. And it's like, yes, that is a perfect retcon and a dope ass Punisher story. And I love that, by the way, every Punisher book has been called The Punisher. This <laughs> book is called Punisher. And it's splitting <laughs> hairs, but I love it because everyone calls the book Punisher. No one says The Punisher when they mm. refer to the comic or the right. character. So. I love that this book like embraces everything that's like fan related and also puts him in a new bold direction. Like this book ends, there, it only has like four more issues left mm. and then it will be over and he'll probably die or put on his old flak jacket and move into a burrow and his, and his wife will be dead or <laughs> she'll put on one too. Oh, like this, this, and, and then we'll have Punishers, dude. I'll buy it. Are you kidding me? Or, 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 or he loses the faith, but she doesn't. Like he decides, like, or he dies, and she becomes the Punisher. Oh, like she's she takes up the mantle. She takes up the mantle. She's like, no, my husband was killed, and I need to, I need to punish those who, uh, you know, do wrong and hurt and kill and steal and rape and stuff. And also, who took away my husband? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Like there's, there's any number of directions this book can go in. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited for any of them. And that's like, that's why this book is so dope. I want to talk about it because I'm like, look, okay, by the time this episode it comes out, the book is still going on. 
buy it. Like, buy the book, pre-order it, get the trade. You're, you're like, in for a ride. You're in for a ride, and I want you to be on the ground floor. Like, I want you to be on <laughs> this journey while it's happening, so it's not, because every episode that we do that is about a dope as fuck book is always the same way. And then it got canceled, or and then they never made another one, or and then they never made an oversized edition, or mm -hmm. uh, if only we sell a few more copies, maybe Marvel. They, they they will never get the message. We're selling Punisher. <laughs> <laughs> get Punisher. Get on board. You heard the story. You're only you're you're caught up for the next four issues or three issues. I don't know. I think it's thirteen. Yeah. I think I think Aaron said thirteen, but I don't know if it's twelve. Okay. But you're in and. Oh, it's, it's dope, and it's and it's it, it, it does everything right. This is this is more interesting than than any of them. any other idea I could think of. Right for Punisher, where it's like where okay, so it's this, but this. His directive to the hand is to end the war, mm -hmm. and the reason is because Maria is alive. Like, right, Maria's back, so there's no need for the war. Mm. So end it. Uh, right, but he, now she's now she's in. Now on she's it. fine, and, and it's like. What so you can end the war, right? And, well... I mean, do we need to? No, I well, don't know I, if I, I want to end the I war I thought anymore. I had to end the war, but now my wife's really into the war. Yeah, yeah no, so it's like either, I guess I'll keep it going. I don't know. Like, it, it could be that Maria or, is like... Or I'm so owning the fact that, like, this is this my is life. life. Yeah. I don't want to end the war. Right. Like, you know what? You you got me not doing the war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I try, we, we, we had a life together in which I turned my back on the war. Yeah. Now, let's see how I bang you when I'm <laughs> in on the war. <laughs> yeah, I'm when like, I'm carrying I'm out the terrified war. Terrified that she may be like brainwashed by the beast, and she's like, "No, I don't want this," but it like overcomes her. I, I don't think so. Mm. I think because we've. I, and the only reason why I think that because I can see that happening is because she was so without agency throughout the beginning of the story. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that Maria like ascends and is like, "No, I'll take over the hand, sure." Like, well, I it, love my husband and I want to kill. It jives with, with what she was saying. Yeah, which is like what I learned about him. Yeah, just that like, I'm kind of like into him. Right. Like, I'm kind of more into him. Yeah, like, I wasn't I, turned off by finding out Yeah, like about I didn't understand past. him really. Yeah. But I did love him and I wanted him to change. But when I found out just how damn good he was at what he's truly good at, mm -hmm. I, don't really, I don't really want him to change. Right. There are so many key moments where I'm like, yes. Ares wearing the Punisher logo. I was like, oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> it's like ridiculous, but it is very cool. It works within this universe. Yeah. Like when you're reading a yeah. Marvel comic and it's like a Punisher Ares, book. It's, yeah, it's like, Punisher book. Yeah. 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 I'm just you're my best you're my best disciple. That's right. That's, I, he, that's you're so verbatim. good, I'm wearing your stuff. Look at how awesome I am thinking about how all of these assholes think they look when they wear the <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Not wrong, you know. Yeah. Aries oh, and I'm shit. destroyed. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Aaron could be saying that. You yeah. know, there's, there's some. Uh, you know, it's not just dope. <laughs> it, it it could just be dope. Yeah. But I think there's some depth here. Yeah. I I, I haven't found it. <laughs> but there is something I mean, to be said. In this book, the villain is wearing the old Punisher logo. That's true. Mmm. Yeah. And it is ripped off of him. And. Frank doesn't put it back on. No, he doesn't. That's not true. yet. We not assume yet. that it's going to be restored at some point. I have, I have to assume. No. I mean, it's certainly like you know, Frank Castle doesn't fancy himself a superhero. No. And he's always been like, I'm a bad guy, or at the very least, like I'm necessary, but like at don't the end of the day, once, not once, once it's over, yeah. I will deal with myself. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I wouldn't really be cool with necessarily other Me people doing, doing what I'm doing. Exactly. Like, no, I don't regard these hand ninjas as people. They're <laughs> bullets. Yeah. Yep. So. Come to me, my bullets. <laughs> to me, my bullets. <laughs> yeah. That's that. He becomes a god and kills a god. Yeah. Punisher kills gods. Because the god of war, uh, I, I assume he's going to have to fight the beast.